Velveeta. Mmm. All right, y'all. Uh, 16 ounces of Velveeta, 16 ounces of dry macaroni noodles. All right, now we're gonna take some heavy whipping cream. Um, we're just gonna drizzle some on, all right? So to cook this package of noodles, we need about three cups of liquid or so. So we're just starting with some heavy cream. All right, perfect. All right, great. You know what, I'm actually gonna give this a little mix, kind of. Or just like, yeah, just that. That's real important, whatever I just... <laughs> All right, next, y'all, we're using some cheese. I have some Monterey Jack cheese that I shredded myself, y'all. I did it myself. So we're doing a layer of Monterey Jack cheese on top of our dry noodles and heavy cream. We're making a delicious, easy, one-pan mac and cheese. Y'all are going to absolutely love this. All right, there we go. Um, on top of this, we're going to do a little bit of seasoning. All right, so we need some pepper. Pepper. Come on, come on out, Pepper. All right, we also need some salt. And then we also do in, uh, some green onion because I love the way green onion tastes. More importantly, I like the way it looks. All right, but it tastes good too. It does. All right, y'all. All right, now we add in about uh, two cups of water. We need our macaroni noodles to cook, y'all. Very important. So two cups of water. And honestly, y'all, I'm gonna eyeball this to make sure the liquid is covering our noodles to see if we have enough. And I think we do. I think this is perfect, all right? All right, that looks great. All right, and then y'all, we gotta finish this with a little more cheese. I'm trying to think if there's something else I wanted to add. Oh yeah, some, uh, some of this onion stuff. This like chopped dehydrated onion. I think onion tastes real good in mac and cheese, but like not big chunks, just a little bit like that. Okay, great. That was a lot, I just put a lot in. <laughs> all right, y'all. Um, you know what else? We're gonna do a little more cheese. We're gonna do a little sprinkling of extra sharp cheddar. Cheddar makes everything better. This is cheese and macaroni, not macaroni and cheese, all right? And we have one more cheese we're gonna add. I love the cheeses. We have some mozzarella because it melts so nice. So nice. All right, y'all, just like that. All right, so we're gonna put this in the oven at 350 for about 40 minutes, and uh, when it's almost done, I'm gonna make uh, an easy topping that y'all are gonna absolutely love. All right, y'all, so this was the mac and cheese, so at this point, we gotta give everything a nice little mix. Oh my goodness, y'all, this, this oh, I'm so excited. This is gonna be the creamiest, best, most delicious mac and cheese. The noodles are cooked perfectly. Uh, we just want to incorporate all this cheese together, all right, y'all, and then uh, we have one more easy step y'all are gonna love, but mm. Uh, the Velveeta makes it creamy. I can smell the, the onion powder I used, which I love. I think it's so good in mac and cheese. And uh, if y'all wanna add other stuff, you can. Put some veggies in here if you want. Use different cheeses. Do what makes you happy, y'all. That's a secret to life. You know, you know, ugh. Y'all know that. I can't even talk sometimes. All right, so that's mixed good. I'm getting a mac and cheese facial over here. All right, y'all, have a half stick of melted butter. I also have one package of Ritz crackers. So we're gonna smash these. <laughs> we're gonna use all of our strength. Yep, that's it. We're gonna smash these up. Great. And now we're gonna open this up and try to not make a mess. I usually, y'all, you wanna know what's funny? I try to not make messes, but it just happens. That's it. Okay, so about a half stick of melted butter, one package of Ritz crackers. Come on. A little bit of parsley. Why not? All right. We're gonna give this a mix with our trusty fork. All right, incorporate all this stuff together. I think, yep, that's enough butter. All right, I was like, is that enough butter? It is, it is. Um, what toppings do y'all put on your mac and cheese? I mean, there's so many ways to make mac and cheese, y'all. I honestly never made a mac and cheese I didn't like. I, I ain't gonna lie. And now when I make homemade mac and cheese, for the most part, y'all, I shred my own cheese because it does make a huge difference, all right? Like, I seriously wanna eat this right now, but I'm not going to. All right, so we're gonna take our crackers our Ritz crackers, and we're gonna put these on top, like so. Our Ritz cracker, parsley mixture, parsley butter mixture, all right? Let's get all this out of here. All right, y'all. Oh, right there, I think we need some more. Oh, and right there. Okay, I'm putting this back in the oven for about 10, 10 five, 10 more minutes just to get these crackers to toast up a little bit, and I'm so excited. All right, y'all, this is my little boopy biscuit, and now y'all have to trick him over here with his favorite toy. I put it right here, so that he's waiting for me to play with him. Yeah, but you can get a treat too, baby, okay? Love you, here you go. There you go. Go get your treat. Here, go catch, fetch. He plays fetch, he might bring it to me, we'll see. Here, have another treat. 
All right, y'all, so this was the mac and cheese uh, that we use Velveeta, Monterey Jack, mozzarella, cheddar. Um, easy one pan mac and cheese, topping is butter and Ritz crackers, all right? So guess what, time to eat. Uh, what am I doing, I don't know. I'm just bouncing that up and down for fun, Bridgie. Um, okay, y'all, it's gonna be good, so that's it. I took it out of the oven a while ago. Oh my goodness, it's so creamy. You know what, y'all? I never met a mac and cheese I didn't like, and that's it, so I'm excited. I'm hungry, too. All right, y'all, here we go. Yum, 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 yum. Here we go, mac and cheese, yum, yum. I'm excited. I'm hungry. I'm also tired. I've been talking all day. Anyways, blah, blah, blah. Y'all. All right, y'all. Uh, this is a winner. You have to make this. I'm not even kidding. This is, uh, I, I'm speechless. I'm just going to keep eating.